Hello for laddies and globe defenders, it's Critical Thing from Down Under and today I'm going to help out Bobby Shafto with an observation that he's made. He's asked for some people to analyse the observation. Uh, I'm thinking he's hoping some flat earthers will do but uh, I'm going to put uh, my submission in anyway. I've compared the real life observation to the globe model and the flat earth model and we'll see which model matches reality and, and which one doesn't. So Bobby Shafto, he's, uh, he's done some great observations. He's very thorough, very meticulous. And uh, if you want to see some flat earth destroying observations, you should go over to his channel. Okay, here's the scenario. It's um, from a viewpoint at Cabrillo Point Overlook or at the Cabrillo um, monument and there's a mountain 17.7 miles away San Miguel mountain and Lions Peak further on behind that now these are not a long way away mountains I think you need to be about 50 miles to get some dramatic results but this is okay to see the difference between globe and flat with this one and I've taken a little bit of a clearer picture. I, I mean, I haven't taken it, but it was from Bobby's earlier video on this subject. This picture is a little bit clearer. He has another even clearer picture, but this one will do for the purpose. And uh, then I've taken how I've modeled this. I've taken the elevation data from this site earth explorer and i've rendered a an an image of this scene this the uh, not the buildings and all of that just one building that water tower there on the left and uh, all the <coughs> all the mountains and that rendered from this scene and see how it compares Here's the rendered scene for the flat earth model. In this scene, I've got three markings as well as the landscape. I've got the water tower to the left there. It's a cylindrical object. And I've got two dots on the top of those peaks. The blue dot is San Miguel. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that really. And the red dot is Lion's Peak. Now we'll see how well that fits. Now I line up the water tower and the top of San Miguel. And then you can see now to the left that, that mountain tops are sticking up. So on a flat earth that there is no curve which would cause the mountains to be lower in the distance. So in the flat earth rendering, they stick up, but they don't actually stick up in real life. And you can tell by the mountain line there, the mountain range in the photo uh, is lower uh, than, than the mountain range rendered for flat earth. And similar on the right there, you can see Lion's Peak is higher than what appears in the photo and the mountains in the background to the right are also higher. Now it's not a big, big difference. Like I said, if this was 50 miles or more, you would notice it a lot more, but it's noticeable there that this is, the flat earth rendering does not fit so well. And if you were a flat earther, you would never be able to notice this just by looking at it. You'd need to do measurements on it. <clears throat> the whole flat earth thing is it looks flat to me and if you don't do the measurements the earth is such a scale that it's very difficult to determine the difference unless you actually do the measurements and don't just say it looks flat to me and I know there are people like flat earth data that says <coughs> won't accept a computer model well this is because he doesn't have the skills or the math skills to understand a computer model but the computer model is best and and uh, he can stick pieces of paper on the ground or on the floor and say 
that looks about right. But if you're really serious about making a direct comparison, then you need to do it with a little bit of accuracy. And for all those flat earthers that uh, immediately jump to the he's lying um, defense or offense or whatever you call it, but um, in order for you to prove I'm lying, first you have to prove that this, what I've drawn here, is wrong. Good luck with that. Now we'll go to the globe model and you can see the render looks very similar. Um, and then we can overlay the globe model and you can see that it's pretty much a very close to perfect fit. The water tower is lined up, the tops of the mountains on the left is lined up, the top of San Miguel is lined up, the top of Lion's Peak is lined up, and the mountains to the right are lined up. So it all fits very well. So if you were to say, does this picture match the globe or the flat earth, it's unequivocally uh, demonstrated here that it matches the globe. And I want to say that, like I said before, there aren't many flat earthers in existence that would be able to do the math and if they were able to do the math, then they wouldn't admit to themselves that the flat earth just doesn't fit a real scene. Well, that's it. There you go, Bobby. I hope you can use that.